Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with a roll curve joint in the DMU Kinematics Design Workbench in Katia V5. So firstly I'll insert new part, insert new part, click on the product so that the part is being inserted on the product. It's the same technique as you follow in the assembly design workbench. Double click on the part so that the complete tool sets have changed to the part design workbench. Now I'll create the first part which I'm going to deal with. So roll curve joint basically two uh, parts are going to follow the same curve. So I'll give a thickness of say 10 and uh, now uh, let me create a point here. Design workbench once again. I'll insert the next part now. So this is going to act as my next part. I'll give a pad of say 10 thickness. I'll select the curve and I'll create one more point. So we have two points here. So uh, here comes the first rule. The two points where you create and uh, you need to assemble it before you're going to work with the DMU kinematics. So I'll go to the assembly workbench, insert, and uh, coincidence. I'll give coincidence for these two points, and I'll update the uh, diagram. So here you have the model. So here at this point, this circle is uh, having a tangency with this particular curve. Two curves are having tangency. Now I'll get back to the uh, DMU Kinematics Design Workbench and uh, now I'm going to uh, click on the new mechanism and the new mechanism is created here and I'll go to insert and I'll fix the first part and then I'll go to insert new joint and we have our roll curve joint here so I'll select the two curves which I'm uh, going to deal with I'll uh, check the length ribbon and I'll click OK so the uh, roll curve joint is already being created right here and for the simulation you need to apply one more joint say you can apply the planar joint here and I'll apply the planar joint and you get the dialog box that the mechanism can be simulated so once that is done you can uh, simulate the mechanism and see click on the uh, you know kinematic simulation and uh, move this and you can see the simulation happening right here so the uh, you know first part is revolving uh, with respect to the second part right here with respect to two curves so this is how you can do the roll curve in the roll curve joint in the ktv 5 in the DMU Kinematics Design Workbench I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and uh, keep watching and uh, keep commenting keep asking me for tutorials and I'll be uploading as soon as I can and uh, like me on Facebook my Facebook ID is uh, www.facebook.com slash shacks v 5 forum which you can see somewhere around here so I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching